We're in beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado with John Elridge, the author of the book, Moving Mountains, Praying with Passion, Confidence and Authority. John, we're gonna talk about healing. Why do some people get healed? Why do some people not? Is it sin in our lives? Is it not enough faith? I mean, some of those things that get thrown around there. I love Crossroads commitment to prayer and I love being able to have these conversations because we need to sort this stuff out or we're just going to give up on prayer. Okay, so let's, let's start with this. When you're learning to pray for healing prayer, don't start with cancer. Start with a headache. Okay, again, we set these huge prayer goals for ourselves and we haven't matured. We haven't grown with God. We don't know quite what he's doing yet. So let's back it up. Okay, pray for a good night's sleep. Yeah. Okay, pray that headache goes away. You as a pastor in, in your years, you saw God do physical healing. Mm -hmm. So it's not that he never does it and it's not that he always does it. So here's what I always do. This is one of the things that's really changed my prayer life. I'm coming into a situation, I've been asked to pray for someone. I say, Jesus, what do you want to do? What are you doing here in this situation? Because I know it's not always yes, but it's not always no, folks. So let's join with God and ask him, okay, Lord, how do I pray here? How do I pray for this person? Let me give you a quick example. Romans 12, 1. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Now that's one of the things we've learned that makes a difference in healing prayer. First, we have to consecrate our bodies to God. If we've been abusing our bodies, if we've, if we've been indulging alcohol or you know, we've been overeating or smoking, we, yeah. smoking, right? We need to bring our body back under the Lordship of Christ. Romans 12, 1, present your body back to Jesus Christ and now you're more available for the healing presence of God to come into your body. So yes, there are things we can learn to grow in towards healing prayer. Because I know many people feel guilty. And again, there's many things that go around the church and various teachings and well, intention. Oh, you don't have enough faith. Well, we know from the Bible that sometimes that was true. Or you have sin in your life. We know that that can be true. But I think we have to be very careful, don't we, that we don't, uh, you know, maybe say that those are the reasons your prayers are not being answered. Right. Let's not go to guilt and let's not go to shame. Okay. Guilt and shame never draw people into a powerful prayer life and they never draw you into a rich relationship with Christ. Okay. So let's just set that aside. You are loved. You are a son. You are a daughter. Now, Lord, teach us to pray. How do you want me to pray for this situation? And that's why we're in this partnership here and we're using Moving Mountains to help folks learn. There's a chapter in there on here's how you do physical healing prayer. Give it a try. Okay, and we want people to give it a try. Get the book with your best ministry gift, Moving Mountains by John Eldridge. Our number is 1-800-265-3100 with your best ministry gift or go online to crossroads.ca slash donate.